Hello and welcome to a short video uh, concerning updating the page content on your website. Once you've logged into the admin section of your website, uh, you will see a dashboard very, very similar to this. And uh, today we're going to focus on one area of that dashboard, uh, dashboard, which is pages. So this is the page, pages icon over here. And if we just click manage. Um, we'll get up a list of pages uh, contained within the website and um, options over here to edit or delete that page. So the page that we're going to be looking at is the home page for this site and if we just click, if we just search for it first of all up here, in this case it, it's just returned the one result and that's what we're going to look at, click edit and we'll get up a um, simple uh, web page here which has got a series of tabs in it and each of these tabs uh, relate to a different part of the page that we can change so handy tip is I have hover over anything that's got a question mark by it and it will tell you a little bit more about that particular bit of information so by hovering over there we can see that the name field of a page is only seen by the admin and it's just a, a way of you giving your page a friendly name. Same with description. Uh, the next one down, template. Uh, page templates are something that you shouldn't change really unless you you know what you're doing. Uh, so the best thing to do is leave it, if you're editing the page, leave it to whatever it opens up with. Uh, the home page is the default page of a, a website. So this has the default um, page template here and then just down here uh, is the page active and visible it's pretty straightforward if if it's off you'll see a red cross like that and if it's on you'll see a green tick and um, on or off just indicates whether people can or they can't see it the next tab along uh, the SEO options uh, th this control some a cert, a certain aspects of SEO that are available to you within the website uh, SEO that's uh, page specific uh, so we can see what the link text here is and um, the link text is home and if we look at the site it says home there and um, also it would be forward slash home as well that, that's what we mean by the link text is this this little bit of information here um, a page title in this scenario we've left it so that we can change it we want to write something that's specific to the site and we want to keep it under you know like a couple of hundred uh, characters really um, so even less than that if we can so we're just going to write Hales Owen and Rowley Regis Rotary Club in there because that's the site that we're using as an example and what we'll see over here is um, this info changed and this is a little Google snippet uh, designed to represent uh, how you see your page if you search for it in Google so if we open up Google here and we just go Hales Own Rotary um, we can see some info there and that's the kind of thing that you know we're, we're replicating up here the meta keywords tag and the meta description tag they're not used by search engines so much anymore but what we want to do again is we want to um, write some things in there that maybe we could be searched for uh, by Google um, and other search engines so you might want to type uh, hey what's going on Rowley Regis in this example and we might want to type Rotary Club International and there might be some other things as well but I'm going to leave that and your meta description uh, this should be something um, that either mimics this, this text that you've got on the page uh, or it should be something that describes really um, what the web page is about so in this case I'm going to just write a short paragraph it says how he was owning Rally Regis Rotary Club is dedicated to Ray 
raising funds and supporting charities in the local area okay and you can see again that that changed up here just to give us a reflection of how it's going to be seen when people are searching for it open graph info um, really unless you know um, what you need to change in there it's probably best that that's left alone um, these are just things that are picked up by Twitter and Facebook so they follow on from the SEO and as you can see um, our update in our SEO description has also updated our open graph description so they should be the same wherever possible the main thing that we'll do is um, or, or you'll probably do as a user is look at the main content tab uh, which as you can see here gives us a bit of text here that it is that there so we can see that the text that we've got here is the text that's being used on the home page of the website and we can just go in and change this we can use it like a text editor we can take things out we can create link which you've seen here we can update um, bits of information uh, delete bits of information write in new bits of information we can do a certain amount of styling as well so uh, um, websites apply style sheets over the top of any styles that you apply so you have to be quite careful with that a uh, rule of thumb is just write plain text in these box wherever you can and just where needed just do some very very simple heading stylings and things like that which you do from using them um, this whole box here it is very very similar to the kind of interfaces you see in Word and other such content management tools so it should be very fairly simple and rather intuitive so we're not going to dwell on that and um, change whatever you need to change in there and you should be fine billboards um, billboards are a separate content entity on the page and there's a separate um, subset of tools that we use to manage billboards uh, on your site on this example site here um, a billboard is this bit of information at the top and it's got a couple of different pictures in it so um, we just pick which billboard we want from a list and it, it pulls the whole billboard in uh, it doesn't matter how many slides there are in that billboard it'll pull the whole billboard in and we manage the billboard separately um, same with signposts signposts in this situation here are, are these little blocks that we've got going on here and we create the signposts before we attach them to a page and then we come into a page and we attach them and attaching them is simple if we if we go in here we just add them in um, from the drop down list and they will automatically drop in and give us a rough idea on the screen of which ones we've got on there so they match these here and then as with every other tool that we've got within the website once you've made your changes uh, and you're happy with them you just click edit and it will save your page straight away uh, you don't need to do anything else but it's always advisable to go back to the page that you're changing refresh it to make sure that you've got um, the information that you're expecting there on the page um, that's it for managing pages um, we'll check out other tools and um, other videos that we've got if there's anything that um, you